Okay, the first sum from linear regression. Obtain the equation of the lines of regression for the data given below. Uh, here we have the x values and here we have the y values. Okay, so how to solve and get two lines of regression. By the way, I have told you regression is estimate. In this sum, interestingly, we will just learn how to find the regression equation. We will not learn how to find the missing values. There is no missing values. If you can see the, this table, there is no missing values. Okay, missing value is the next sum. Okay, so how to do? First, like in class 10, you make the x column here. See the green one here, the x column. Uh, as I'm showing you with this green arrow, the x column and the y column here. Make, copy these datas in a um, vertical manner okay then <clears throat> what you do is then first thing that we do is find mean okay because the mean is going to decide my formula if you go if you see the first formula second formula and the third formula the first formula says when mean is uh, whole number second formula says when mean is fraction and um, uh, the given numbers are small numbers the third formula says when mean is a fraction but uh, the given values are quite big so basically the mean decides me which formula to use i have three to four formulas okay let's say three formulas because three formulas is decided by the mean the fourth formula is quite simple that is uh, when correlation coefficient and standard deviation is given if you go back to your notes okay so i copy all these data here and i calculate the mean so this is the formula here I'll circle and show it to you here. The, the formula I've already written, uh, x bar equals to sigma x by n, y bar equals to sigma y by n. Okay, so sigma x would mean the total of x, sigma y would mean the total of y. Okay, so let's calculate the total of x and y. So you can use your calculator for this sum. It's allowed. Okay, so I will calculate the total of uh, x here. 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total it up. And you are going to get uh, 45. Okay, I've already done it. Then, second one, 9, 8, 10, uh, 12, 11, 13, 14, 16, and 15. Add the Y column. When you add the Y column, you are going to get the total of 108. Okay, how many observations are there? Count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, it's clearly 9 observations. So, let's put the formula to use. So, I will have uh, 45 divided by 9. That would give me... Uh, 9, 5, and then here 108 divided by uh, 9, that would give me 12, okay? So, if you see there's values here, 5 and 12, the mean is not fraction, uh, sorry, is not a decimal, it's a whole number, it's a whole number, so if the mean is whole number, we go to formula number 1, you know it. So, what is formula number 1? Let's write down the formula. So, BYX equals to, the formula is sigma Y minus Y bar, X minus X bar, divided by sigma X minus X bar, whole square. That's the first one. And the second one is BXY equals to sigma Y minus Y bar, X minus X bar, divided by sigma Y minus Y bar, whole square. So, these are the two formulas. How did I decide the formula? This mean helped me to decide the formula. Okay, since the mean is a whole number, I'll use this formula. Okay, now how to make the table? Let's come to the table. The table is very, very simple. So the formula will decide how many columns to make because what do you need? Now I would need, see, I will mark it with blue color. I will need uh, y minus y bar, x minus x bar, their multiplication, square of x minus x bar, square of y minus y bar, Okay, so all this I would need. So let's start making it. The first column would be x minus x bar. That would basically mean x minus, uh, how much was x bar? 5. The second column would be y minus y bar, or I can write it as y minus uh, 12. Is it 12? Let me see. Yeah. So let's start. So what are the values? x minus x bar. How to do it? It's very simple. This is x and this is x bar, 5. So 1 minus 5 minus 4 okay the first value okay so <clears throat> the second one let's go to the second one uh, similarly 2 minus 5 minus 3 okay this is the second one I have to do the third one is 3 minus 5 that's minus 2 then continue minus 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so you can do it like that 
second one y minus y by y minus y i'll show you in green color this is nine nine minus twelve we have to do it like this nine minus twelve yeah okay so nine minus twelve would be minus three similarly eight minus twelve would be minus four and continue minus two zero you can do it on your own uh, minus one one two four and three you do it for all the data okay so the third column let me make it the third column would be the square of x minus x bar whole square the second one would be the square of y minus y bar okay and the final okay i'll decide tell the final column data okay so how what is the square square of x minus x bar would mean uh, square of this one okay i'm showing it to you with let me put it in okay which color okay this okay so this column you see here the square of this one as i'm circling it here so what would be the square of the what would be the value of square of these one very easy 16 9 4 1 0 1 4 9 and 16 so square all these values square all these values You'll write it down there okay similarly square all the this one circle y values now y minus y bar it will be 9 16 4 0 1 1 4 16 and 9 okay i've done it finally the last column i didn't tell you that time it is y minus y bar multiplied with x minus x bar that would mean it's quite dirty try to make sense out of it i would have to multiply I'll have to multiply, uh, let me show you with red, these two columns, this, this one, this whole column, this x minus x bar column, and this one, the y minus y bar column, these two, you have to just simply multiply these two, okay, one by one, so let's start, so first one would be minus 4 into minus 3, so likewise, 12, 12, 4, 0, 0, uh, 4, Sorry, uh, that's 1, 4, 12, and 12. Okay, done. So all the columns are made now. Now I'll have to total it up. I'll have to total these values. Okay, so the first one, I'll total these three here. These three. I don't need the total of x minus x bar. I don't need the total of y minus y bar. This is not required. So I'll total it up. I will total this column here, the x minus x bar whole square. So this column, as I'm showing you with the black dot, this x minus x bar first, I'll total it up. And the total of this would give me 60. You can do it. I will total y minus y bar shown with the dot. That would also give me 60. And finally, the total of these third last column, uh, you may say the last column, sorry. So that would be 57. So look at it clearly. I have uh, totaled this column, this column, and the third column. Okay, I've got the values. Why? Because here, you can see here, this is what I need. I need the total of the product of y minus y bar and x minus x bar, the product of y minus y bar, x minus x bar, the square of x minus x bar, the square of y minus y bar. Okay, now time to put the values and get the answer. Very, very simple. Okay, so what is the um, value, the uh, product, total of the product of y minus y bar and x minus x bar? And that is here, 57. So 57 divided by 60. That's here, 60. Let me show you here, 60, x minus x bar whole square. So that would give me, how much is 57 divided by 60? You can do it, the calculator, 0 0.95. Same thing here, 57 divided by 60, that's again 0, that's again 0 0.95. Okay, so I got the value, so let me rewrite it here. Uh, I'll put all, so we have, let me write it down here, uh, x bar equals to 5, y bar equals to 12, uh, byx is also 0 0.95, bxy is also 0 0.95. So these are the values that I have obtained. Now let's write down. Therefore, regression equation of y on x, the first one. How to write y on x? You know the formula y minus y bar. Since y on x, y comes first, the byx, x minus x bar. That's here, and on the other side, regression equation of x on y, that would give me x minus x bar, bxy, y minus y bar. 
let's put the values in place y minus y bar means 12 I have here 12 byx is 0 0.95 x minus 5 so let me simplify this y minus 12 equals to 0 0.95 x you can multiply and check that would give me 4.75 uh, y equals to uh, what will I do is interestingly look at this how to represent e regression equation of y on x when you when you are doing regression equation of y on x then you make y as the subject of the formula that means put x towards your right and y towards your left so I will just simply do this here see this I'll simply write here y and I'll take this number also to the other side so it'll be 0 0.95 x minus 4.75 plus 12 when you simplify this the answer would be y equals to 0 0.95 x plus 7.25 so did you see here y is towards your left and everything towards your right making y as the subject so that's the first regression equation done okay similarly I'll quickly do the second one here uh, x minus 5 0 0.95 I'll do it quickly here y minus 12 similarly x minus 5 0 0.95 y here I have minus multiply this using your calculator you are allowed to so what would I get here is 11.4 okay uh, x as you know this is x on y so I'll make x as the subject and everything towards your right 0 0.95 y minus 11.4 plus 5 x equals to 0 0.95 y minus now you can simplify this this will come to 6.4 and that is the regression equation of x on y. So here we have regression equation of y on x, the first one here, and the regression equation of x on y, that's the second one. Okay, great.